Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the channel. I am Redbeard, and this is the Redbeard Grind. I'm a full-time eBay and Poshmark reseller. I have fun doing this, and I make videos about uh, what I sold the day before. I release them Monday through Friday at 7 a.m., just so you can see um, what a small seller's doing and uh, possibly learn these brands and go find them and make some money yourself. Sometimes I've got some good bolos, and sometimes it's just uh, bread and butter stuff. So uh, let's get into this. Oh, and at the end of the video, I will go over... A bolo. I go over a new bolo every day, whether I sold it or not. Um, I, I just go find one on, on eBay, basically. But it's a good one um, that uh, if you're new, maybe you don't know about. If you've been reselling, you will know about it, probably. Um, so let's do this. Yesterday was August 9th. I did 12 sales on eBay, 338 bucks. I'm going to go over one sell from Poshmark and one sell from Depop. The Depop one's a good one. Um, and also, I got the uh, the Facebook group. In the description the link is in the description below if you want to join that and just uh like kind of uh join the group and uh hang out with people that do this the reselling thing you ask, ask questions uh, you can post stuff whatever you want to do <clears throat> just to surround yourself with um like-minded people all right uh let's see number one i gotta sort of hide a low i'm just gonna go over the first handful of these and then we'll move on to uh to other stuff all right seven for all mankind so i found three pairs of these. I put one back because of holes. I wish I would have just picked it up because uh, I listed both of these yesterday, I think, October 8th, um, two days ago, and they both sold already for full asking. They flew off the shelf. So if you don't know about this, uh, you'll want to see the, this is the Dojo Flare Jean. This is uh, Seven for All Mankind. Let me show you the logo. Seven for All Mankind, size 23, uh, Taylorless Dojo. Mm -hmm. So I, I just picked them up because they were flared legs. I didn't even comp them. And then when I got home and I was listed, I was like, oh, these are these have really good sell-through rates. So if you see 7 for All Mankind and it's the Taylorless Dojo and it's in good shape, I'd pick it up. It's They flew off the shelf. Uh, I, that was my first sell on Depop. I've been listening on Depop for like four or five days and finally got a sell. And it was, it was another version of this. So that's what they look like. They got the flared leg. Uh, don't pass this one up. I bought both of mine from... Both from Goodwill. I went shopping at Goodwill finally uh, for six ninety nine each. Yeah, that was a really good one. So basically, I I sold the other one for fifty on Depop too. So um, twelve bucks into a hundred, which is nice. All right, Diesel, Diesel, my guy jeans. These sold for thirty four eighty seven, full asking price. Um, I did pay up for these from whatnot uh, with the shipping, everything. I think I paid like twelve or thirteen, something like that um for these but i like diesel i sell diesel all the time and if i find these at uh goodwill or salvation or bins i'll pick it up every time um, this is their typical tag they'll have the size upside down in the waistband and usually they have their style and then a little bit of information about the style of what it is sometimes older stuff won't have this but this is what you see most of the time and then their tags from where it's from their material tags all that good stuff, but this brand is a great brand. It sells really well. Um, there's another way to identify it. You can see that the, their little diesel industry on the coin pocket. Um, but just comp the style. Some styles don't sell as well. Some styles will set, uh, and you just have to have the right price to move it. But in general, most of their styles do really well. And um, you can sell this stuff from 35 to probably up to 50 bucks. Uh, depending on the style i could have got more for these but I, I try to price my stuff to move and not set forever because i need my money back so i can go buy more inventory so i can keep doing this for some crazy reason um all right sir pendleton button down this is a brand that man i have just been learning about over the last three years there's a most of my pendleton purchases have been bombs like they don't sell well um i gotta let them, let them go for next to nothing um, this brand was built up when I was first starting out, uh, to me as a bolo, no matter what, and it's not. So be careful with what you pick up. Um, there are a certain style of shirts that they sell, and I cannot remember the name of these styles. Air Force Bro will remember. Um, but there's, uh, you can go to the website, go to the Pendleton website and look up the shirts and the style names, and then you can go to eBay and research them. Some of them have a phenomenal sell through rate and they go for a lot of money. I sold one of them, and I just can't remember what it was, like the washboard shirt or something. I can't remember. But this one went for 33 bucks. It's been setting a while. I listed this May 23rd, and I'm very cautious with what I pick up from this this uh, brand because of uh, 
the amount of items that I picked up that didn't sell well, but this one did okay. I'm happy with that. This was a Goodwill's buy for uh, $5.99, and uh, it's got the tartan plaid, so that was good. Worsted wool <clears throat> had a lot going for it. I'll still pick things up from this brand if it's got a lot going for it, and this one had a lot going for it. So that's what you're looking for. Pendleton. Just get the stuff that, that sells, though. All right, Vintage Cabela's Shammy. Um, if you're new to my channel, I used to can pronounce this Camoise because I had no idea how to pronounce it. I learned that through the channel from you guys. Like, Thanks for telling me. Someone sent me, like, this is how you pronounce it. Um, so Vintage Cabela's Shammy shirt. I pick up, I will pick up uh, any Shammy shirt that's a decent brand. They, they sell for a decent amount of money, and they tend to move pretty fast. I probably could have got a little bit more money for this. Um, I, it's a, it's a recent listing. This was a Goodwill find. I wish it was a Ben's find, but I paid $5.99, $6.99 for this. Um, it's nice. It's got the little buck embroidery on there, but Cabela's is an okay brand. I don't pick up everything from Cabela's, but anytime it's like, uh, like, like a camo shirt or some kind of outdoor gear or a chamois shirt or the deer skin shirts, um, I will, I will go with it and, uh, it does sell okay. All right, let's see what else we got. Tommy Hill figure. When I bet you I bought this before the 4th of July, hoping I could sell it, and it did not sell for the 4th of July. And then it sold now it sold yesterday in October for 22 bucks. So I was originally just trying to get, originally trying to get 25-ish for it. So 22 is not bad. But this was another goodwill find for $5.99. Tommy Hill figure. And I typically don't pick up Tommy Hill figure unless uh, it's something like this that's really flashy or it's got the logo all over it. Or it's a style of jeans or something that's selling right now. Let's see. We'll do we'll do one more, and then I'm going to move over to the other stuff. If you're still here, I appreciate it. Thanks for your time. Uh, feel free to leave comments or questions in the comments if you have any comments, or just join the Facebook group if you have questions. It's easier that way, I think. Um, so 527. When you're comping Levi's, really all you got to do is put Levi's in the 500 series, and um, Men's, women's, you can put the size if you want to really drill down to whether you're getting sales for that size or not and uh, see what the sell-through rate is. So this one had some flaws on it, um, but they're not too bad. Just some stains down there. This was, let me see. So this is a Ben's find. So I got these for three bucks, uh, moved them for almost 20, 19 is some change. Not too bad. And then plus $8 shipping. I would pick these up again at the Ben's. Um, I think I would pick them up at the... The Goodwill to uh, um, or Salvation Army. Ringler denim. Uh, we'll do a couple more. I'm feeling uh, it's late. I should be uh, I should be wrapping up. I still got to do my listings tonight. Um, so okay, vintage Sears navy quilted jacket. I bought this at the bins for three bucks, and I picked it up because it was uh, three bucks, and I thought I could sell it, and I did for uh, for almost twenty plus my shipping. I'm just trying to trying to find the tag for you. A lot of times I'll pick up stuff like this at the bins if if it looks like it's vintage or old um, because I don't comp and I'm like ah, I know I could I can find an audience for this and that tag pictures upside down and this was made in Korea I wish it was made in the USA but stuff like this will move especially now yeah, I I would not be buying this in the summertime uh, maybe at the bins I would for for three bucks um, I might would do that so yeah it's out of here nineteen bucks. And let's see, we'll do one more. Wrangler Denim Pearl Snap. This is an FR. This is also a Ben's find. The guy sent me an offer. I think it was for 15 or 16 bucks, and I took it. I just listed this. Let me show you the tag. So Wrangler FR. Um, my experience with Wrangler FRs is, is not great. They don't have a great sell-through rate. Uh, I find the jeans all the time, and I used to pick them up, and I stopped picking them up. Because uh, they don't sell very fast, and they don't sell for very much money. I think the market's just flooded with them. But the bins, it's a different story. Like, you get it for $2 and some change, and you can move it for that $20 mark. Um, it's a little bit better. The jeans don't do uh, very well for me. If you have good experience selling FRs from Wranglers, let me know about it in the comments or in the Facebook group. But this one also had the pearl snap. So it had more going for it than than a normal Wranglers FR. And it's denim, denim shirt. Uh, so, I, yeah. I would I would not pick this up at uh, a Goodwill, but I the bins I'd pick it up again. And it went so fast, like you could probably get more money for it than I did. Uh, let's go over to 
All right, I was going to show you this one. This is one cell I got from Poshmark yesterday. This is the convertible pants. This is REI. If you can find convertible pants, the sell-through rate on these things is pretty good, especially if you can buy them within the season that uh, you're entering. Um, and it's got the big old open leg there. But people like options with their, especially outdoor gear. And um, that's the, la the label there, REI. Some more info inside on the pocket there. But uh, I pick up the convertible pants when they're like REI, even even some of the Wrangler stuff, Columbia pants. Um, I pick them up. I, I like to get them earlier in the summer, like going into the winter time. I don't know how well these are going to be doing, but um, there are some brands that uh, do like the Boy Scouts convertible pants. I'll buy those any any time of year. Those do really well. Uh, but if you see convertible, you might comp the brand and just see what the sell through rate is and see if you want to buy that. And then here's the other, the other uh, what, what brand was this? Seven for All Mankind um, Taylorless Dojo Flare Jeans. This is the, I listed two of these. They sold within a day for full asking really fast. And I had a ton of low ball offers and I had a ton of messages just from these two, two items. Let me show you the tag again just in case you missed it. And then we'll get on to the bolo. There's a blurry picture of Seven for All Mankind. And then Taylorless Dojo. That's what you're looking for. And I think both of them had Taylorless Dojo on the inside pocket just printed somewhere. It wasn't obvious. It wasn't printed on the waistband. So look for that. Um, they flew off the shelves. If you see that, you're going to be able to sell these pretty fast. And then any style that's similar to this, I would I would comp other styles. I I will walk through the th like at Goodwill and just look for the flared legs. And uh, that's kind of how I saw these and just pulled them. I should go back and see if that third pair is there. But they had a big hole here and like a big hole here. It wasn't like distressing. It was like a, a hole that someone had put in it or something. Okay, let's get on to the bolo. Um, Burberry shirts. And I just did shirts. I did men's shirts used. Um, so if if you're not familiar with Burberry, you'll want to become a little bit familiar with it because you can find the shirts occasionally at Goodwill and, and uh, Salvation Army. Now, the shirts I'm going to go over here, I have never found. I have never found a Burberry with the full plaid. That's the Burberry plaid um design on there i've never found one like that but i wanted to show you this as a bolo because that's what's selling for the 300 hundred dollar range um as you get down way down here and and um over into like this area the eight and nines those are the shirts that i'm able to find but the ones that are selling for top dollar are burberry and uh it's got the burberry plaid and it's in different colors too and this is an easy visual to remember i'm going to put this in the bolo list the visual bolo list so make sure you um that you can get that in the Facebook group, um, and I have it in uh, yeah I have it in the YouTube uh, community area also. I gotta remember to update that. Um, I'm only updating the bullet list like on Fridays, so um, as we go through the week, don't expect me to update it every day. I'll just release a new a new one on Fridays. So let's jump into these. Let's look at some of the tags, um, and let's learn what they look like so we don't pass this stuff up. And there are, there are copies of this. Like if you see a shirt and it doesn't have a, an authentic Burberry tag on it, um, just beware. And this is probably faked quite a bit. I have found fake Burberries, or at least I think they're fake. I just leave them on the shelf because I'm like, I know the brand good enough to where like um, when I'm looking at the, in, in the, uh, the embroidered logo, if that looks like it's too far off or if I see the tags and it looks like fake, I just don't, I don't pick it up. It's hard to, like, that's not a good pick of the tag. Let's see. There's a tag there, Burberry Brit, and there's there's Burberry Brit, Burberry London, and different variations of this tag. So we'll take a look at a few of them so you can get a feel for it. And you can check the buttons. It says Burberry. Um, they logo pretty pretty decently, and a lot of times they'll have their embroidered um, logo on here. I'll find, your, I'll find their logo on one of these shirts and show it to you. But you'll want Burberry... The Burberries that I find, the, the, the shirts don't feel like they're high quality, but they sell for $45, $55, $65. Bucks. Like, they're just like this, like here, like these shirts. Here's a $49 Burberry London shirt. That's the type of stuff I find, um, and they don't feel like they're high quality, uh, but they sell for a, a high amount of money. All right, Burberry plaid, tan. It's really Burberry check. That's what it's a check. It's not a plaid, but... Um, it's, uh, it's all right. So here's a tag. This would be the, the um, material tag down below, closer to the hem. There's Burberry London, England. Just kind of remember what they look like. 
and maybe and then Scott Burberry, Burberry on the buttons. I want to find the logo. I might have to go to some cheaper shirts. Maybe they don't put their logos on these. Three hundred forty-five bucks. Let's look at these. I'll just go real fast through these. And sometimes I feel like I'm doing this all by myself, and no one's watching my videos this far. <laughs> if you made it this far, let me know in the comments. Burberry, London, England. Like, okay. Let's get to uh, the, uh, here's a shirt. Bearberry deer, let's look at that. The sucker sold for a lot of money. Uh, okay, so that's a button up. It's an awesome pattern. Like if I saw that pattern, no matter what brand it was, like I would definitely go to it. I would gravitate towards it naturally. So Bearberry London, I don't see that the logo's on that one either. Let's see, but you get the idea, like this is, this is the pattern. It can be in different colors. Just check for that Burberry. Um, and if you find that, that you, you found money also, that, that design. That's really cool. I saw one with the logo. I want to show you the logo and then I'll wrap up. And this is an unusually large logo. It's not going to be this big usually. There it is right there. And when it's embroidered, you won't have all these details in it. But it's going to be the general same shape much smaller and when they're fake it's really sloppy burberry's a real burberry is going to be tight embroidery um and uh the it's not going to be falling apart or anything it's just going to look it's going to look nice and professional and there's your tag all right guys i hope you learned something new i will wrap up here if you made it this far let me know i gotta know if people are watching this thing or not uh this deep into it all right i'll see y'all tomorrow wait today's thursday so tomorrow You'll I release on Friday, so have a good weekend. And then I'll see you Monday. All right, I'm out of here.